we have heard the warnings before. We've told them to you. Check the back seat after parking your car. But what if you're passing by and you see a child or a pet in the back seat of a hot car? What can you do to help? WFMY News 2's Hunter Funk spoke to Greensboro Police about the do's and don'ts. Picture this, you walk up to a car, you see a young child inside. For some, the first reaction maybe is to open the door, maybe break the window. In some states, Good Samaritans are allowed to do that, but in North Carolina, you can't. Only first responders can make that rescue. Don't take it upon yourself or anything to do anything because you may be liable if you cause damage to another vehicle or you know you, you do something that's going to be careless or reckless from that standpoint. So we want you to start the 911 process, get law enforcement, get fire, get EMS there is what we would like you to do. The same applies with pets. Greensboro Police Sergeant A.D. Reed says you should call 911, find someone to flag down first responders, and keep an eye on the car. Reed says you are allowed to knock on the window, but you shouldn't try to open the door. That's one of those sticky situations because technically it could be considered tampering with the motor vehicle because you're doing it. But if you're trying to check on somebody, you want to knock on that window first. Try to make contact with them. If you can get them alert and conscious and talking to you, try to get that to happen. See if they can open the door. Reed says if you are concerned or you notice something, be sure to call 911. He says it's a good idea to keep an eye on each other. Now, I also spoke to AAA who says if you forget to, you know, you're, you have memory problems, maybe you just can't remember things as well, it's a good idea to leave a purse or maybe a wallet in the back seat so you check before you leave.